You keep hearing the phrase, circumstances don't matter, and yet you're not finding that very practical in your everyday life because what you're experiencing feels pretty freaking real. And it's kind of hard to ignore what's right in front of your face in the 3D. There's actually a much easier way to start understanding circumstances don't matter, and it's practical, and it's a framework you can start using right now. It's Gigi, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. We talk all about the law of assumption, mindset, spirituality, and manifestation over here. We are the Journey Fam. Glad you're here with us. And if you want to work together, my information is in the description. Also, I'm working on creating a free community for you guys. And the information will also be in the description. Maybe it's already out by the time you're watching this video. But I thought it was about time we have a space to connect and cheer each other on and hold each other accountable. So I'm going to assume that you guys know this already. I love marrying the practical with the spiritual. I love bringing the law of assumption down to earth and making it something you can actually practice without feeling like it's an airy fairy concept that has absolutely no real practical application. There's nothing worse than getting excited, having this rah, rah kind of attitude about manifestation, and then something comes up in your reality and you don't feel like you can actually apply what you've been studying and watching. What I'm sharing today is called The Model. It was created by Brooke Castillo, who is an incredible life coach, entrepreneur, CEO, and someone I admire a lot. And the model has five parts, circumstance, thought, feeling, action, results. And you're going to take back the reins in any kind of situation, interaction, conversation, altercation, anything that's going on, you're going to be able to take back your power and walk yourself through these five things and realize how you actually have a lot more control over how things play out than you think you do. I found this great blog that summarizes some examples of the model in action from simplysquaredaway.com. Shout out to this website for summarizing what I wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to read it aloud. A circumstance is any neutral factual thing. A thought can just be a sentence. So you're going to have a one sentence thought about your circumstance. Feeling. A feeling you get because of that thought that you consciously thought Action, the response to your feeling with any action, reaction, or non-action. So because of that feeling, you're then going to take an action. And then building on the action, you get the results of your actions or non-actions. The results always prove your thought to be true. See the correlation with the law of assumption? The law of assumption, what you assume to be true, proves true. Here with the model, what you're thinking proves true due to going down this list thought, feeling, action, results. Here's an example of an unintentional model. Circumstance, 20 things on your to-do list. Thought, I have so much to get done. I'm never going to catch up. Feeling, overwhelmed. Action, procrastinate. Results, you don't get things done. And this proves that you have so much to do and you'll never catch up. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's a feedback loop, vicious cycle. Now, let's look at an intentional model. Circumstance, the same thing, 20 things in your to-do list. Thought, I have 30 minutes right now. I have time to get at least two tasks done. Feeling, motivation, seems attainable. Action, set the timer and get exactly two things done. Results, two things are crossed off your to-do list. You got some things done and you get a surge of confidence. So by being aware and choosing to change your thought, you change the result. You wouldn't have felt that motivation, that determination, knowing that you could get at least one-tenth of the way done with what you need to do if you didn't consciously make that decision. If you succumbed to the overwhelming feelings like you did in the first example, then you wouldn't have gotten anything done. And you would have just sat there and complained like a victim. So I want to keep this video short and sweet by just sharing that example, but I encourage you to go Google the model and read a bunch of other examples that people have talked about so that it can encourage you and inspire you. You can see how simply by changing your thought about the circumstance, your entire approach to it changes. And I know this can seem like an oversimplification for more complicated things that you're dealing with in life, but I would like to invite you to try to chunk down, break down, 
what you're dealing with into smaller parts, approaching it with this same model. How can I think about this so that I can feel a different way about it in order to take a different action in order to have different results? Instead of thinking of your circumstance as something you have to fight against or pretend isn't there, you can just approach it with this neutral, zen mindset. And it really, really works. I've been playing around with it, and I can attest to the fact that it's like magic when you actually consciously apply it. And you don't let the circumstance get the best of you. We're not going to be perfect. We're human, and we can't expect ourselves to be perfect. But we do have a lot more autonomy over how we approach circumstances. And anyone who tries to tell you that you don't clearly wants to take that autonomy, that independence, that power, that control from you. If you're part of the journey, fam, watching this video, I need you to stand in your power. I need you to remember who the heck you actually are instead of letting what's going on around you dictate how you act and how you show up and what you accept in your life. We are conscious manifestors who are standing in our power. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you want more practical tools and frameworks like this. I can share a lot more with you. And let me know in the comments if you found this useful, if you can envision yourself using this framework or if it seems like it's oversimplifying things. I love you so much and I will see you again very soon in another video. Bye.